Robert Wagner has had a long career in film and TV. He was one of the most recognizable celebrities through the 70s, 80s, and 90s. But in recent years, reports have surfaced saying the star has been fading away. In this video, we'll look at what Robert Wagner has been up to recently and why he's getting more frail every day. According to the National Enquirer, Robert Wagner, the once strapping star of films like The Towering Inferno and TV shows like Switch and Heart to Heart, is getting more and more frail every day. His health took a turn for the worse when the COVID-19 pandemic kicked in. According to insiders, he sits at home looking through old photo albums. He gazes at those old pictures for hours on end. Wagner's health started to decline when investigators in LA decided they were going to reopen the probe into Natalie Wood's death. Wagner insists he had no responsibility for it, but according to sources, he's terrified of getting dragged back into it. He's obsessing over what people think of him, particularly the daughters he had with Wood. According to people close to him, his memories are starting to fade with age. His mind will wander off and he'll start to reminisce about his days of being a matinee idol in the 50s and 60s. The Inquirer story isn't conclusive though. It can't seem to make up its mind about whether Wagner's memory is fading or if he's simply avoiding questions. Another source says that even though it's been 40 years since Wood drowned, Wagner never seems to get past the questions surrounding her death. It makes it sound as though Wagner is fully aware of what's going on around him. But other quotes indicates he's losing his grip on reality entirely. The two narratives paint very different pictures, so it's hard to know which is accurate. It could be one Engaged more story about possible dying celebrities in a long line of them from the uh, National Enquirer. When Side Gossip Cop ran Robert the story Wagner, past one of Wagner's reps, they said he's York never been healthier. They went on the record as saying he had a physical around his 91st birthday and got a glowing report of being in exceptional health. Someone with direct access to Wagner likely knows better than a tabloid getting its facts from an unnamed source, so take it with a grain of salt. The Heart to Heart star still appears regularly in documentaries and is scheduled to star in the Western drama Trailblazers later this year. That doesn't sound like someone suffering from poor health. The Inquirer story puts Wagner in good company. It regularly publishes stories about celebrities being on their deathbeds, who turn out to be perfectly fine. Angelina Jolie, Cher, Matthew Perry, Pope Francis, and Phil Collins were all near death at one time, according to the tabloid, but they're all still going strong. More recently, the tabloid claimed Liza Minnelli was near the end, and she quickly refuted the claims on Facebook. It uses these sensational claims to sell more copies of its magazine. So it's quite likely Robert Wagner is still doing fine at 91 and will continue to do so for some time. But Robert isn't the only Wagner making headlines, as his daughter has also been in trouble with the law. According to Radar Online, she's under investigation for allegedly stealing some high-priced jewels. Courtney Wagner, Robert's 47-year-old daughter with Natalie Wood, was accused of pocketing five custom-made rings and necklaces by a California gemstone jewelry designer. The pieces are worth nearly $5,000, according to the jeweler's husband. The news comes shortly after the newly appointed L.A. District Attorney, George Gascon, privately pledged to push the long-stalled case against Robert Wagner before a grand jury. It's been nearly 40 years after Natalie Wood drowned off Catalina Island. The timing of the two probes isn't lost on investigative writer Marty Rooley, who wrote a book called Goodbye Natalie, Goodbye Splendor that triggered a homicide investigation into the West Side Story star's untimely death. She told Radar that Wagner knows he's a suspect in the case, and his charmed life could come crumbling down at any time. She thinks it's sad Courtney Wagner has run into trouble with the law, and her mother would never have wanted her to lead the life she has now. Courtney Wagner got into trouble late last year when the Malibu-based jeweler sold her five custom rings and necklaces. Shortly after, she filed a chargeback with American Express, claiming the jewelry was fake. But even though she filed for the refund, she also kept the gold and precious stone items, according to the jeweler's husband. He's a lawyer and wants to remain anonymous to avoid alienating any of the celebrities who work with his firm. According to Radar Online, they went to the police to file criminal charges against Wagner. The jeweler's husband said the police officer that took their statement felt the evidence was overwhelming. It even included pictures of Courtney wearing the items and claiming, OMG, I love it. Radar tried to reach out to the sheriff's department and the detective investigating the case, but they didn't return their messages. Wagner made herself available for an interview with Radar and said she's aware of the investigation and she has lawyers involved on her behalf. 
She insists the jeweler and her husband are making more out of the situation than there really is, describing it as a typical merchant-customer credit card dispute. According to Wagner, there's an ongoing American Express investigation that's holding up the process. She says it's still possible she'll have to keep the jewelry and end up paying the jeweler after all once the investigation is complete. She thinks the jeweler and husband are just trying to cause trouble for her. She says there's nothing fraudulent about the situation. Courtney last made headlines in 2019, after she appeared in an HBO documentary called More Than Love, in which she came to her father's defense over the long-simmering allegation that he had somehow played a part in her mother's death. Natalie Wood, who was 43 at the time, fell from her yacht, Splendor, when it was moored off the coast of Catalina Island. This followed a vicious fight with Wagner that was sparked after a night spent drinking with Christopher Walken, her co-star in the film Brainstorm. Her death was initially ruled an accident, but the L.A. coroner's office later changed it to drowning and other undetermined factors. The change came after the skipper of the Splendor stepped forward to describe the knockdown, drag-out fight between Wagner and Wood before she disappeared. In the 2018 podcast Fatal Voyage, The Mysterious Death of Natalie Wood, lead investigator Detective Ralph Hernandez says he thought it was suspicious enough to make them think something might have happened. He said Wagner was at the swim step when Wood disappeared, and witnesses later corroborated that story. They saw them fighting, heard arguing, saw them at the swim step, and then she was gone. After defeating former District Attorney Jackie Lacey in November, D.A. Gascon vowed to take another look at the case. Lacey has been accused of not letting a grand jury decide the case based on newly uncovered evidence for quite some time. Wagner has vehemently denied any wrongdoing since the original accusations were made 40 years ago, and his daughter Courtney refused to comment about the case when speaking with Radar Online. This isn't Courtney's first brush with the law. Eight years ago, she was arrested for cocaine and heroin possession after a report of gunshots and a woman's screams coming from her home in Malibu. Prosecutors eventually decided not to file any charges against her in that case, however. While Robert Wagner has more acting roles on his upcoming schedule, he's had to step back from some, like NCIS. Wagner played the part of Anthony Donatso Sr. and showed up occasionally even after the actor playing his son had left the show. He was absent from the show in seasons 17 and 18, however, which the producers explained. In the context of the show, his character still exists in the NCIS universe, even though the actor playing him has left the show. Wagner's character would provide the team with updates about his son's life on his occasional appearances. So, what do you think? Do you believe the stories of Robert Wagner's failing health, or do you think it's just newspaper tabloids trying to drum up business? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.